Hey guys, I'm Hetty and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I'm doing part 4 of my uh, Fan Art Feb series and for this one I'm doing Chihiro and Haku from Spirited Away. I love this film, it's such a lovely film. Um, Studio Ghibli films are always really good and I can't wait till my daughter's old enough to understand them because this one and My Neighbor Totoro are probably going to be some of the first ones and Ponyo that I introduced her to. But yeah, for this one, I was a little unsure on which markers I've got that would work best, so I actually did a colour study for it, and I especially struggled figuring out what background I wanted to do, which I'm really gutted about because it didn't record. I've Somehow the footage has gone missing for when I was colouring most of the back, well, all of the background and some of Haku and Chihiro. So sadly, there's like loads of footage missing and you only see me colouring half of it, but the finished piece I am really happy with so that's one thing at least but I have a lot of different green markers which I've mentioned many times before so finding the right green for Chihiro's top that was a bit of an awkward one and I didn't quite have the right one but I got as close as I could so that's one thing at least and with Haku's mane as well because the reference picture I was using of him, it didn't really have a lot of it on there and I wanted to make sure I was showing more just... So there was more of the colours and everything, so I was trying to find the right tealy greeny colour because on some pictures I saw he had more of a green one, some were more blue, but most of them were more teal, so I went with that one and I liked it a bit better. But for the background, if you watched my sketchbook tour video, there was a little galaxy swatch that I did and I said you'd have to wait and see what that was for. Well, this is it, it was this one. Um, it took me a while to try and figure out how to do the galaxy effect with markers because I've only really done it with... I've tried it with markers before and it didn't work. I've done it with watercolour and again that was a bit awkward too but I managed to make that work. My favourite thing to try and do it in at the minute is acrylics but that's because it's a lot easier to blend those. And I need to get some new blue markers now after this piece and another one in the series but mainly this one all of my like royal blues and all that they're pretty much dead now so i'm not very happy about that but it was worth it because the piece turned out nicely but for if you ever want to try doing a galaxy effect with markers the main thing i'd say is yes you need a lot of blues like um a royal blue and um quite a deep ultramarine but purples and pinks tend to work better than the blues and greens. If you know for like the, uh, what are they called? Like the little, uh, when you do a galaxy, there's the, all the coloured bits. The pinks and purples seem to work better doing it in markers than the blues and greens do. It's good to have a few little bits of blue and green in there just to give a bit of variation. But the better colours, for especially for blending with, is the pinks and purples. So... Yeah, I just started off putting the base down of the pink where I wanted the lighter bits and then went in with the different shades of blue and a teal and then I go in with the purples and greys to try and darken it up as well because my blues were running out. So there's a little tip if you want to try and do that. But it does take a long time and a lot of ink and it's very smelly. So if you've got a lot of patience, go for it. But we've got time to answer one question from one of you guys today. And today's question is from Illustration with Evie. And she said, If you could become instantly a master in one medium and only one, what would it be and why? Um, I'd say acrylic paints. Because to be a master in it, with acrylics you can do a lot of different techniques with it. So you can treat them more like watercolours or you can treat them kind of more like oils because of how you can blend them like how thick you can lay it on as well and you can use loads of different tools to do it so instead of just literally using a paintbrush you've got your palette knife style as well you can do that so I think I'd probably say acrylics because it's a lot more versatile to use in different ways and I don't know it's it tends to be cheaper than using markers it doesn't run out as quick Otherwise, I think my second choice would be markers or watercolour. But I think I shall stick with acrylics. I like those more. And I'm hoping as soon as I have finally moved house, then I can actually start getting back into doing acrylic paintings and get a filming set up done so it's a lot easier for me to record them as well. 
So if you want to see me do acrylic painting, speed paints and tutorials then please like comment down below or give me a like or something and let me know. But yeah, we're coming to the end of the video now. So I hope you're enjoying this series so far, we've still got a long way to go and I still have some some days where I haven't done anything yet so if you have any fan art requests then please put them in the comments below as well and I'll try and do as many as I can but yeah thank you for watching please like and subscribe and don't forget to go over and check out Claire's videos on black summer coloring because she's joining me in this crazy mad dash to get these videos out every day but yeah I will see you in tomorrow's video so again thanks for watching bye